so as you can see from the title, I have ventured out of quarantine status into the real world. I hadn't done that with my daughter and I for a while. Usually we go to the store and my husband is the one that goes into the stores. But today, or excuse me, yesterday, coming from a Walmart pickup, I said, you know what? I need to get my daughter some shoes. Let's go to dun, 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 Target. Of all places was my first quarantine store, but not quarantine store, out of quarantine store, but dun, 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 the actual product, makeup product no less, that I picked up out of quarantine. The first makeup brand that I decided to purchase was Elf Products. Yes, yes ma'am and sirs, Elf Products. Uh, the Bite Size Eyeshadow Products. I bought two of those from Elf and I'll get into which ones uh, a little bit later. And then I also, I have not tried the ELF Camo Concealer, the regular one, uh, but I was more interested in the ELF Hydrating Camo Concealer because I am all about making my skin look as natural as it can. Now this has a reddish, orange tint to it, um, but I did try it on last night just to make sure the shade would work because I didn't want to waste anyone's time and have to completely cover it with powder in order or foundation in order to make it work. That just defeats the purpose of a try on um, if something's completely wrong for your skin tone. So I kind of wanted to try it on. I did and this will work for me. I didn't want to get something uh, because I do not, I, I don't think I have, do I have e.l.f. foundation? I, I don't think that I do. I have e.l.f. primer, but I don't think I have e.l.f. foundation. So with me wanting to, uh, or preferring, or leaning towards the makeup, no makeup look, I wanted to get a concealer uh, that I could spot, treat, uh, blemishes with and use with powder or uh, more importantly get rid of my dark circles um, which this can do uh, especially when you put a translucent or a powder of any kind over it uh, what I hope doesn't happen is that creasing takes place uh, after I put well before and after I put powder on so we're gonna try out these products um, and see how this wears. I'll probably do a two to three hour try on or wear test of the camo, hydrating camo concealer. Uh, and uh, we will go from there and then I will give you my thoughts. So if you're interested in what I think about these e.l.f. products that are new to me and my channel, then keep watching. Hey guys, so the camo concealer, uh, hydrating camo concealer color that I got was Deep Cinnamon. I should say is because I'm still holding on to it. Deep Cinnamon. It says camouflage those pesky spots and under eye circles with this high coverage. So this is considered high coverage. So it says with this high coverage, uh, hydrating and long wearing concealer. Okay, so the doe foot applicator is, um, and I'll take it out. The doe foot, and let me let this focus. The doe foot applicator is um, wide enough, of course. I think it's pretty wide. Um, and this concealer has been compared to Tarte Shape Tape, which is surprisingly enough, yes, that is a concealer I have not tried out that everybody actually um, speaks highly of. Um, I am going to be using um, the putty primer on my face today just to keep in with uh, e.l.f. 
I did not moisturize. Actually, let me go ahead and use this Superfood Calming Hydration Juice, and this is from Elemis. I'm gonna start out by um, doing my skincare because I did actually wash my face earlier and I did not uh, hydrate or do any type of skincare after that. So I might as well do it now while I'm discussing this. Uh, but uh, I know that from looking at other um, influencers on YouTube that um, they've been comparing this to the uh, Tarte Shape Tape. So, and Tarte Shape Tape has pretty good things said about it. Um, I personally have been liking uh, just recently, uh, what was it, what was it, what was it? It was, let me see, I'm sorry guys. I have been liking the Il Maquillage and we can compare it. This Il Maquillage happens to be a highlighting, more of a highlighting type of concealer, but I do like the consistency of the Il Maquillage uh, highlighter, uh, concealer. Uh, how much do you get in this one? You get seven, you have seven mLs, milliliters in this container. Uh, if you wanna compare it to the e.l.f. Let's see how much is in that. Uh, the e.l.f. is touting how much? Six ml. So it's actually one less ml in the e.l.f. concealer container than in the Il Maquillage um, container. Um, if you look at them, they are quite different uh, packaging. The packaging is quite different, different styles. Uh, I don't prefer one over the other, but I think this is pretty, a pretty cool packaging right here. This is your pretty much standard packaging for concealer. So I have put on my Elemis. I am now going to use the putty primer here. And this is the Poreless uh, Universal Sheer Putty Primer. This is not, um, this is not the, I think they have a, is it a matte putty primer or something? Poreless Putty Primer? I don't have that one. This is the, just the regular one. Um, I am going to go ahead and apply that to my face now because I will be putting powder on my face. Um, I think I'm gonna go with a translucent and also most likely use the bronzer, or not bronzer, what's it called? My favorite physician's formula, yeah, butter bronzer. So I will be doing that uh, as well um, because my Translucent powder usually makes me look a little on the ashy side. And I use this Physician's Formula bronzer, butter bronzer, to warm me up a little bit. So, um, yeah, this will be interesting. Um, this is not going to be a highlighting dual <laughs> type of uh, product, uh, kind of like the Il Maquillage, because I didn't get a lighter it's not gonna work as a highlighting product for me just because this is pretty much my skin tone. And they do say the orangey type of uh, bases will, will hide your um, dark circles. So maybe it'll be good for that. Uh, and it depends on the skin tone. Um, but yeah, we'll see if that I think I'm looking, let me get closer here. Making sure that I have rubbed in this primer enough. So let's go ahead and get started with this. I'm gonna shake it up. The e.l.f. 
this e.l.f. concealer, uh, the um, hydrating concealer was $6 at Target. The eyeshadow bites, bite size eyeshadows were each $3. And so I've also heard good things about these and I'll be trying those on as well. So let me just let you look at the consistency of this and the doe foot applicator. Ugh. Let's see if this works. There you go. It's pretty big. It's okay for a, um, it's just the right size actually for a concealer application. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get my trusty kitty mirror. And it's kind of dirty a little bit. But let's go ahead and put it under my eye. Now I'm not expecting this to dry down. I'm also going to put some on this blemish up here as well as don't really see anywhere else that I need it. So let's go ahead and blend this out and see what we got going on. All right guys, I have decided to pull out a sponge that I have never used before. It was one that I got, it is by Luxie. I had gotten this in one of the boxes. I decided to use this one because uh, of the shape of it, okay? And I am dealing with concealer, so why not? Guys, this is it. I'm done concealing or spot concealing. Now, I did try, you'll see where I tried to do two coats there. Maybe it sucked it up because when you do use uh, the beauty blender, it will tend to, or a sponge, it will tend to soak up the product. Uh, but I went on ahead and tried to do another uh, layer there and it pretty much kind of covered it. Um, this is, sorry guys, this is the look that it gave my eye and this is without powder um, and this is the concealed area here. Did a pretty good job, didn't want to continuously layer, also did not want to do that here because again cre creasing um, and I also concealed a little bit here. So, but before I put my powder on, I am going to go in with maybe both, but at least one of these. They're called, let me get this focused. They are called Bite Size Eyeshadow. This one is Rose Water. And I'm gonna open it, of course. And this one is the palette called Berry Ro ba Road, Berry Bad, Berry Bad, that's cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and struggle with the opening here. Um, it's telling me to peel something. Um, so I'm going to open. Oh, they kind of make it easy. So let's open 
very bad first and I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, what these look like and I'll do swatches as well so let's go in I'm not gonna well, I'll do all of them uh, because it does have a each one of these palettes have four shadows um, with one matte which you can use as your base or transition shade so let's go ahead and go in I don't do a good swatching job but obviously this is your matte or base shade and these are very pretty now this last one this is a matte as well but it is a berry color matte these shimmers are really pretty of course and then you have your mattes okay so let's now do the other palette we're going to do a swatch for for this palette and this palette again is called Rose Water. Let me go ahead and get, let me let you see that, get these colors off of my finger and I will do the other side. All right guys, opening up the second for, for <laughs> eyeshadow palette, we have the, what are they calling this? Rose Water palette. These are the shades here. Let's go ahead and swatch those on the other arm. Now the transitional or base shade that they have here is a lot lighter. All right, so let's go ahead and swatch on this arm. this last one another swatch attempt so let's go ahead and focus in on what we have nice shades nice shades and like everyone else has been saying the formula I don't know if you want to describe it as creamy um, but it is a nice formula. It is not your average, you know, I'm not gonna say that all of the, the uh, grocery or drugstore uh, shadows are chalky, but they're not dry feeling. They have some moisture to it, which makes it feel a little bit more creamy than the average drugstore eyeshadow. So let's go ahead and try these on. I think what I'm going to do is use the transitional shade of the first palette, which is this one right, oh, and there it goes. This one right here, let me go ahead and and we will start with that one. I will be using my Sonia G uh, brushes for this application. So let's get started. I shouldn't say I am going to just use the Sonia G brushes because I do not. Is her name Sonia G? I'm not going to just be using the Sonia G brushes. I will be using a combination of a different uh, array of brushes to get the job done. So let's go ahead, zoom on in and get started. I will at some point speed this uh, up, this video up for the sake of time, but let's go ahead and see how the first uh, applies. So let's go in with the Sonia G Detail Pro. And I did do an unboxing of these when I first got them. Of course, these are my first. I only got two first Sonia G brushes. So 
So let's go ahead and put down the base shade with her. And I did bring the concealer on up into my eye. This is a nice skin color base shade for me. And I did bring the concealer. I kind of pat the concealer into my eyelid as a base for the base for the base eyeshadow. So the next color, and I do have to decide this pretty quickly. I'm gonna go in with will be let's go on in with trying to think let me do a, I'm gonna use the same brush and do the darker shade here the berry shade so let me go on in and I'm just going to pop this here. Right below the brow bone, hitting the brow bone, I'm going to put this berry color. Not want to go as dark as what you're seeing on this side so I'm going to take another brush a Morphe brush or is it a Morphe brush what is this called I'm sorry Mac what is this Morphe brush this is a Morphe brush and just blend this out a little bit more wanting one side to be and I am now this is from the berry road what is it berry road or I am gonna go into the rose water palette for another color but the berry road I think is what they call this I forgot that quick man you don't remember much anymore, do you? So I am going to use my finger and kind of blot this down a little bit. Let me get a tissue and make sure that this I didn't want this to be as deep so let me take care of that and I will be right back all right guys so this is what that first shade looks like on both sides uh, let's go ahead and use the Sonia G worker 2 it's what this one looks like seem like it got stained a little bit but it doesn't seem like it's going to affect this so this is the rose water palette and I am going to go on the eyelid with this color here Sorry, my battery or my uh, card was full, so I had to erase the video. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. And as you could see, I did use 
this color on my lids and I did use the worker 2 brush from Sonia G to apply that just gonna apply a little bit more here and y'all I do know a difference for sure uh, with these brushes versus uh, let's just say uh, the other types of brushes uh, there are some good drugstore brushes and I will continue to use those brushes um, but um, it, you, you can just tell the difference between the these Sonia G brushes the application and the other brushes so now I am going to that by the way was from the um, rose water palette I am gonna go in with I think I'm gonna go in with this color or this color underneath the waterline so let's see which one I pick All right, guys, so it did get a little muddy <laughs> with that color. Now, uh, the others might not have had fallout, but this last dark shade right here, that definitely had some fallout. It did get so bad that I had to re-wipe off and then reapply and clean up my concealer here. So I had to reapply the concealer. Yep, that's how muddy it got. So I should have, I didn't think I would have had to uh, apply uh, the uh, concealer first with this. I thought the eyeshadow would not give me any fallout, but that last shade, absolutely did give me fallout so guys this is the look that i have going um just uh, this uh the the wispy cat eye is not uh doing as well as the other side but um we are trying we're gonna try to make that even with a wipe but guys yeah this is the look of the eyeshadow application along with the concealer. And I am going to clean this up and do the rest of my face and be back with my thoughts. And then I will do a small wear test and come back with the results of that. So be right back. All right guys, I am, I'm always dropping stuff. All right guys, I am back. Wearing camouflage. I am back. I'm gonna end this video right now prior to me doing my uh, wear test, my small wear test because the battery's about to die. But my thoughts applying both the eyeshadows and the, um, what do you call it? The eyeshadows and the uh, hydrating camo concealer. So far, I like the way that all of them applied. There was only one real uh, shadow that gave me some fallout, which is this dark one here. I did end up putting this um, shadow right here. I don't know if you can see it on the inner corner of my eye. So I will give you my true thoughts after I've worn the concealer a couple of more hours and uh, we will revisit it. Uh, just to let you know, I do have a By Terry uh, Growth Booster Mascara on my lids. That's what I ended up putting on my, I'm sorry, my eyelashes. Uh, I did put the blush from Ciate London on uh, my uh, cheeks. And I did go ahead and use a highlighter 
uh, and that was the Too Faced, I think they call this the Pineapple Paradise. I mainly used this side, but I kind of swiped as well. Um, I did bronze up using the NYX Professional Makeup. Uh, I don't know if they want to call this a bronzer brush or just a powder brush. Uh, so I bronzed with this using, of course, my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Uh, I did use two lipsticks. One is from Revlon, I believe. This is Revlon. Uh, the other one is from Joa Beauty. So I mixed those two. Uh, basically, that is what I have on my face, guys. Uh, the powder I used uh, over the concealer is the Physicians Formula uh, Argon Wear Powder. I do not have any foundation on, guys. So let's go ahead and see how this... Um, makeup will wear both the concealer and the eyeshadow and we will talk later bye all right guys this is me after two hours of wearing the uh hydrating camo concealer by elf in the color deep cinnamon as well as the two eyeshadow palettes they're considered the bite size eyeshadow palettes in berry rose and then rose water um, those are what I have on my face. Let me just zoom you in so you can see my under eye and how the concealer fared for two hours so far. Really no issues. Keep in mind I do have powder over it. Um, there is no real creasing. Uh, there is no such thing as a 100% creaseless, especially over hours and time of wearing uh, a concealer. There's no such thing really as a creaseless one because it, is, it will settle into your fine lines. And I really don't see, I don't have a lot of fine lines, but it doesn't look bad at all. It just looks like my regular skin. Uh, and it did conceal. So let's take a look at um, the area here that I concealed. That's my hair, hold on guys. So I really don't see, uh, it's still covering, it's still lasting um, and covering the blemish I had on my forehead. I also had, guys, this is just horrible the way this focuses. Um, yeah, um, and I do have blush and highlighter over this area, but you do not see too much of that blemish that was over here. All in all, guys, this is, um, and as far as the eyeshadow, uh, it's not really creasing at all. And it's lasting. It looks just as good as when I first... Um, and this is not liner. This is the dark eyeshadow that I used for the liner of my eye. Um, that is lasting. Um, I'm pr I am really, really, if you look at the formula here, you can see how it looks. It is a very nice formula. You can see the application here where I applied it, the eyeshadow. It is a very nice formula. It's it's almost high end the way that it settles in and sits on the eye, sits on the skin. But this darker shade did fall. It did do a, a, a quite a bit of falling out. Um, so, but that is the only one from the two eyeshadow palettes I experienced. I believe there were two more eyeshadow palettes there uh, and these were in fact just three dollars so it is very worth it if you want to try them um, these are worth it now this other color did give some fallout uh, a little bit of fallout and this was the color that went into let me this color is the color that went into my um, inner corner of my eye. That was a little bit. But other than that, guys, I am okay with these e.l.f. products that I have tried. Uh, that I have tried on my face today. Let me sit here and let it focus. Gotta wait on it. 
Uh, let me go back then. Uh, let me look at it for a while. Okay, so yeah, I'm here for it. I like them. Uh, I did uh, use, again, my Physician's Formula Argon Wear Translucent Powder over it. This is what I'm considering a makeup, no makeup look. I d because I'm not wearing foundation, I did put on some uh, blush, highlighter, uh, and some mascara. I also, when I did an unboxing of Ipsy, I went on ahead and added um, some eyebrow gel and one of the lipsticks that came in. It's a matte lipstick and I went over it with an oil. Um, so that is what I have changed since the last time you saw me. So I was actually unboxing my Ipsy at that time. So that's what you see on my face. Uh, now, but anyway, I did not disrupt anything that I did with the concealer or the eyeshadow. Uh, I like the way that they all wear. So, um, we will go ahead and see you in the next video. That should be, I am not sure what I'm receiving next. Maybe it is BoxyCharm. Did I already do BoxyCharm? Maybe I'm forgetting. But, guys, like this video if you found it useful. Um, e.l.f. is the first makeup product I actually went out and bought in Target. So Target's the first place I actually ventured into out of quarantine. And e.l.f. was the first makeup that I decided to buy out of quarantine. So that's pretty interesting for me. Go back and look at the rest of my videos. Decide if this is a channel you want to subscribe to if you're not already subscribed. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.